the parts of a radical. First thing I want you to do is up here, title this radical symbol. It is this thing that you guys have known as a square root. Oh. It's really called a radical. If there is a number out front, and if there's not, there's an invisible one, it is called a coefficient. What is inside what you guys have called a square root is called a radical. And this is the part that's really new for you guys because you've been working with these without knowing their names. The new part today is that we have here an index. And notice this little tiny asterisk up here? Yeah. It takes you down to this asterisk here. If the index is not written, it is automatically a 2. Wow, that's great. It's the only invisible that we work with in Algebra 1 that is not a 1. That's weird. This is going to confuse me a lot. When you look at this and there's nothing there and you've called it a square root, that's because there was an invisible 2 here. And that invisible oh, two goes with square the square. Right. Today we're going to start working with indexes that are different than two, as well as still working with two. So okay. Q four. I want you guys to watch me do this one first, and then I'm going to pass out these papers, and you're going to do it as well. Okay. And this is probably going to be your homework. It is a total of six problems. One, two, three, four, five, six. It will be a mini book, but not as many as the first mini book we did today. And I want you paying attention to the steps oops, that are right here. We're going to find the prime factorization of the radicand. It's Animal. I think I should have written radicand here. Ratatouille. Sorry, this is not a radical, it's a radicand. <laughs> it's because I'm going so fast trying to get this in today. Radicand. We're going to find the prime factorization of the radicand. You're going to start seeing the connection to what I showed you earlier when we were looking at the exponent that was a fraction. Second step, the index of the radical <laughs> tells you what size of identical groups can be removed from the radicand. That makes no sense to you right now, but we're going to come back to it and it will in a minute. We're basically pulling stuff out of here and getting it outside, but not everything can come out. Oh, so only what the if number is, um, is it like if there's like So let me do the first one. Numbers? There's nothing here, so this means it is a two. 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 Oh. I need to find the prime factors of 28. Um, Can somebody get that? Thank you. 2 and 14, 2 and 7, 7 and 1. I'm going to rewrite this, breaking out all of the factored parts of this. So the 28 is going to be rewritten as 2 times 2 times 7. The x to the third is going to be rewritten as x times x times x times y. Oh my god, this And how many z's? Oh, Eight. Oh, no. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? It does look sleepy. Okay, let's go back to this thing that I said doesn't make sense to you yet, but will in a minute. This step says the index of the radical tells you what size of identical groups can be removed. I have to circle identical groups in sets of two because the index is two. So I'm going to circle these, two of the x's. That means a seven and this x are going to stay inside. 
Oh, so I need two. Yeah, and the Y yeah, is going to stay because it doesn't have a partner. I get this. Yeah, I'm like, but because the Zs were even, they yeah. each have a partner and they're all coming out. Whoa. So how many Zs are we taking out? Eight. eight. Can no. Eight, all of them? Four. 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 Yeah, because this becomes, when we pull it out, think about the square factor of 16 is four. Yeah. When you pull it out, it becomes unsquared. Right now they're squared and they're, we're taking the two together, but each one of them becomes one when we pull it out. Oh. Okay, and what's left inside of here? 7x. 7xy. So I'm going to rewrite my radical as 7xy on the inside. I'm going to make this visible because we're talking about the index right now. And then I'm going to put on the outside 2 x z to the fourth oh, and that's finished oh. which is weird because it doesn't look finished it looks like a bunch of letters right yeah, yeah. okay it's I'm going to do it to this one also because it's index is a three John I really want you watching what was my first step Check for the index. Oh. Check, well, the, I don't want to check for the index yet. I want to factor this to its prime factors. So 32, and I'm going to do the cake. 2, 16. It's all going to be 2s. 2, 4, 2, Finally there. How many 2s? 5. Okay. I'm going to rewrite this. And I'm going to put my index there to remember that it, I'm looking for sets of three. One, two, three, four, five. How many A's? Two. I know that means they're going to stay inside. How many B's? Six. Six. Those are going to be taken out. Yep. So B3 outside. That's a darn off lot of B. Okay. <laughs> now I want to make circled groups of how three. many? Three. 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 That's one two that I'm taking out. How many twos are staying in? Two. two. So when that before? I can't take any A's out because there's only two of them and I need sets of three. Two, three. Two, two, two. These come out yeah. and these come out. Two. So how many B's will I have on the outside? Two. Two, two. two B's. Two B's. Two. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this. Two B squared. Radical sign. What's my index? Three. Oh, three. And then what stays inside? <laughs> Four a squared. Four a squared. Yeah. Mm. Where did the squared? Um, the where did two a's? Come from? Oh, one, four. The four came from. I went back and I remultiplied what was in there. I've got two times two and a times a. Oh. Okay. So this became four, and this became a squared, and they're staying inside of the radical. Oh, that right. makes sense. You know you Okay. You guys are going to need to do these two problems. It is recorded. You can go watch it. And you're going to try the ones on the inside. I want you to notice this has an index of four. four. X to the 10. And oh three. God. And then we have another four and another three. Look at question. Don't forget the steps are here. Okay? I get you. Don't forget. Are we seeing why I stopped what I stopped and we ripped that yeah, out? Yeah, right this is yeah. easier. This yeah. is going to make that make more sense when we go back. Good, so that's what we're going to do.